What's going on guys, my name is Tom from Red Labs and today I'm going to show you how to create iridescent or uh, holographic materials in Cinema 4D. So first off I want to say that uh, a lot of people use really cool in-depth um, iridescent, holographic, pearlescent, however you want to call it, materials and they probably use like an external renderer like Octane. Um, but today I want to show you that there is a certain way that you can actually kind of mimic these effects in Cinema 4D without using any external renderer. So let's see what we have here. I'm going to delete everything that I have so far, except for the head that we have here. Um, so the way we're going to use this is we're going to use uh, two materials, actually. We're going to create a sky with an iridescent texture. And what this will do is this will create a sky object that will uh, illuminate everything with a with an iridescent texture and all the materials that we have inside of our scene so for in this example the head it will be reflective and because of it because it will be reflective it will uh, actually uh, reflect this iridescent texture here. Um, so let's just get started okay first I'm gonna create a sky object and I'm gonna make a new material so the color and the reflectance we can turn off and we can turn on the luminance. And for luminance we're going to re uh, use an iridescent texture like I just said. And the ones that I'm going to use are actually found on Creative Market and I'll show you how they look right now. So this is a package of really helpful iridescent textures uh, that I found on Creative Market and um, I'll put a link up in the description so you can buy these for yourself. Um, if you don't have any money to buy these textures I'm sure you can find lots of them online. Um, there's also a uh, tutorial of mine uh, where I try to create these in Photoshop from scratch. Um, so um, the link for that will be in the description too. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use these textures. So let's load it up and let's see which one we're going to use. Actually, let's just go with number two here because I really like that one. And we're going to apply the material to the sky here. And as you can see, the sky is already iridescent and we want this head to reflect that. So we're gonna create another material and in the reflectance panel, let's just delete the default specular here. Click on add and add a GGX. And basically apply this to here. And you'll see that the material is really applied already nicely. Um, so if you render this, you'll see that the background here will be still like uh, visible. So what we can do is going to right click Cinema 4D text and compositing and we'll turn off scene by camera. And now we can actually render this out with uh, without the background here. So yeah, fairly quick tutorial, uh, quite easy actually, um, but I got a lot of questions on how, that, how I go about creating these. So yeah, um, that's basically it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Um, I want to take this moment in the video to thank my patrons. Because of my patrons, I am actually able to create more videos for you guys, more social media content, more guides, more everything. So thank you so much uh, to every patron out there supporting me. Uh, so if you don't know, you can actually become a patron and you'll get access to all of the project files that I use in my tutorials, as well as a 15% discount in the Dreadlabs web store. And you also get a specific Dreadlabs Insider Discord role. Um, so there's that. Uh, if you want to become a patron, the link will be in the description. Uh, if you have any questions about the video uh, or you have any suggestions for any other videos, please let me know in the comments down below or you can join us on Discord. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.